It looks like an innocent text, but this combination of emojis is also code for a large batch of cocaine has arrived. A school bus is code for Xanax. A blue heart, meth. A maple leaf represents all drugs. Parents should really investigate and parents should really be aware of what this language is. It's like a different language. A language that today's social media savvy youth is already fluent in. Some young teenagers have made these purchases online on a social media app or online marketplace, paid with an app, just ran out of the house, got on their bicycle, rode down the street, picked up the drug and came back and the parents never knew. We've investigated cases uh, with children as young as 14, unfortunately, who have uh, who have died from this. In an effort to educate parents and caregivers, the DEA released this emoji decoder showing various ways that drug traffickers and criminal organizations are now communicating with customers. Special agent in charge Bill Bodner says the entire drug landscape has changed. Operations have moved online, and there's a disturbing spike in the synthetic opioid fentanyl showing up in drugs like Oxy, cocaine, and Molly. In 2021, the DEA seized 20 million fake prescription pills, many laced with fentanyl, more than the previous two years combined. The tiniest amount can kill. I've been doing this for 30 years. This is the most dangerous drug I've seen on the street. The reason why is because it's killing recreational drug users. It's killing people experimenting with drugs. It's killing because of deception. They're literally playing Russian roulette with a loaded gun. Interventionist Jennifer Jimenez and Tim Ryan are on a mission to educate and help parents and kids alike. The husband and wife team both struggled with addiction and know firsthand how devastating it can be. So my 21 month sobriety date, my 20 year old son Nicholas succumbed to an accidental drug overdose and I don't want any parent having to carry a necklace around their neck with their children's ashes in it. I just think that the messaging here has to be we have to keep an open conversation. We have to feel that we're not alone in this world. Parents, if you're not monitoring your kid's cell phone, it's on you. Experts agree with fentanyl so prominent, talking to kids and monitoring their online presence could potentially save lives. You have to be aggressive and infringe on maybe what you know they might feel is their privacy, but it has to be done to keep our children safe. Um, the, the world is changing and it's just gonna take more engagement by parents to, to stay on top of that at home. And you can get everything else on social media, so mm -hmm. it makes sense that drugs would be out there as well. Yeah. And, and who knew about all those codes? Yeah. I mean, the job of being a parent, I think, gets more and more complicated every year as we get more and more technology. That's for sure.